Good afternoon and welcome back to Fairweather Trains. I was having a bit of a rummage around trying to find something to uh, inspire me to do another video when I found a bag of stuff from the last toy fair that I'd completely forgotten about. So while we were there, this particular trader was telling us he'd just spent over £20,000 on Dapol, uh, straight with Dapol, remaindered stock, stuff they couldn't sell, part of which consisted of 4,000 wagons. So we thought, you know, let's have a look through some of them and see what we got. So I thought I'd quickly just run through these. These are all brand new, unopened, brand new remaindered stock, uh, which he got direct from Dapol. I think they're all going to be gunpowder vans by the looks of it. So there's one. Some of these I've never seen before. Uh, what's that? Ella Water, Elta Water. Ambleside. Yep. There's another different one. I'm not going to bother unboxing them because it's just going to stretch this out. I'm just going to give you a quick look. Um, he also had a lot of um, Dapol Locos there, but they were all uh, customer returns and uh, with no guarantees. No, I didn't fancy that. They weren't exactly cheap anyway. Um, yeah, you can never be too sure customer returns. Yeah, that's, that's a nice colour one. I've not seen that one before. Northeastern gunpowder. There's another one, exactly the same. There's a bauxite one, gunpowder BR bauxite. And the last one of these, you'll be pleased to know, LN, oops, LNWR, gunpowder van. And as I say, these are all Dapol remainder stock, ones they couldn't shift from their warehouse. And because we bought, how many is there, two, four, six, seven, he did them for five or a pop, for brand new wagons. I uh, can't complain at that. Um, also in that bag was some US rolling stock that I'd forgotten about. This is a Backman, three dome tank car. I've got to hold this back a bit because it's quite large, as you can see. That's quite nice. This is another Backman, presumably a newer one. A center flow hopper, corny. Get the light off. Yeah, that's another quite a big one. These weren't new by the way but they look in very good nick. All the couplings are there. Uh, I've got my first ever Lionel wagon. That's Schlitz beer. The beer that made Milwaukee famous. Well not that famous because I've never heard of it but there you go. Uh, Schlitz reefer. I think that one's got Changed couplings on it. Let's just have a look at that one. If it wants to come out. Yeah, it's got a hook and loop one end and a old style knuckle cup at the other end. That's all right, I can use that as a converter thing. That's quite nice, that's surprisingly heavy. I don't know how old that would be. But that's a Lionel. This next one's interesting, it looks old. A Mantua. Just the box makes it look old, doesn't it? But the, the interesting thing about this, here we go, box car, Western Maryland. What I liked about this one, apart from the striking colour, is that it's all metal. The whole thing. Roof, sides, all this is all metal. The only thing that isn't is the bogey, strangely enough. 
and the wheels. Don't know anything about these. They say they must be pretty old, but the detailing is quite good, and they say it's all metal, completely metal. Yeah, that one was alright. It's even got instructions or something. Let's have a look. Oh, assembly instructions. There must be some sort of kit. Is there a date on that anywhere? Can't be 1956, can it? Surely. Maybe. Yeah, I can't see a date on there at all. Yeah, I don't know, but I bought that because that was uh, an interesting thing. And lastly, and this is, um, although the um, cellophane's coming off, this is unopened. This is a 89 foot tri-level car transporter with the car models. And what makes that nice and different is they're obviously American cars. And this, uh, this was unopened, it's got um, ripped a bit in uh, storage here, I think. And some of their most amazing operating accessories for back in the day. Not sure how old this will be, but I should be getting this out and having a good look at this. And having a play and see what the model cars are like. In fact, let's, let's have a quick look now. Let's take this off. Let's see what we got. Sorry for all the noise. Let's, uh, Oh wow, that's actually better than I thought. It's humongous. I don't think it's metal, look at all those cars. Nice uh, estate car there, I'm sure they don't call them estate cars, but you know. Tell you what, that's pretty cool, I reckon. I like that. These all came from the same bloke, and believe it or not, he took four quid each for these, including this. Yeah. That was a good buy, that one. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Anyway, I'm gonna put that together and I uh, think we'll give that a bit of a run round. So uh, you might see it running around in the next video. Thanks for watching, see you all soon, bye.